My name is Michael Burt, and I will be your host through this series of webisodes. These webisodes will take you on a journey and give you a sneak peek of what it's like to be an Inyati Conservation Corps intern. There will be twists and turns and adventures around every corner. So sit back and relax as we immerse you in the wilds of Africa. In this Inyati Conservation Corps webisode, I'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the deadliest snakes in Africa, the puff adder. You know, in my time here at Shabalala Safaris, I've seen a lot of amazing mammals and birds, and... but what I hadn't seen yet is any reptiles. Little did I know that Mike Keeney was going to deliver me my chance to go face-to-face -face with this deadly snake. I was elated when someone told me that the snake was sitting in the bed of the truck. My first idea was to just do some animal facts on the snake, and but then, you know, that just wasn't enough for me. Before we let this beautiful snake go, I decided to grab it by the tail and do a little snake wrangling. It started off as a pretty slow snake, but as soon as I bent down and grabbed it by the tail, it kicked into second gear. And uh, it calmed down after a little bit, but luckily I had that stick in the way. Now another amazing thing about these snakes is the way they move. They move in a locomotion form called rectilinear locomotion. This involves two different muscles, the coscutaneous superior and the coscutaneous inferior, which are located along every rib and attach the rib to the skin. The way this works is the coscutaneous superior muscle lifts a section of the snake's body off the ground and places it ahead of its former position. The coscutaneous inferior muscle then pulls the belly scales back while they're on the ground which propels the snake forward. This form of locomotion is extremely slow but the positive side is, is that it's extremely quiet. It's almost undetectable so it's very good for snakes who want to move and not be heard.